Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 220 Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Matthew 18, verse 1 to 3 Jesus' transfiguration was simply Jesus being changed into eternity. His person took upon himself the heavenly being, the state beyond death, the heavenly body without flesh and blood of which Paul described in 1 Corinthians 15. Every fact that Jesus was revealing was a big surprise to the disciples. Jesus was from above, and the disciples from below. The plan of salvation was conceived in heaven, enacted on earth. Jesus knew it all, and the disciples didn't know anything. Jesus is the Messiah the Holy Spirit had to reveal it. Now the three were watching, Jesus talking with Moses and Elijah, and it was a big surprise to them. Again, Peter was overexcited, seeing the three in their majesty. Nothing could be better to stay on the mountain in their eternal glory. So let's make three tabernacles and continue living up there. This time, the Father had to bring a loving correction to the three. They must listen to Jesus, the Son whom the Father loves most, forget their thoughts and ideas, which are so shallow. Jesus knew them all and still wanted to pull them along. He wanted them to see the glory of Jesus and perceive their own future in resurrection. That was the destiny we all are going to take part in. It was unimaginable for the Twelve. What about the Church today? He wants us to look into the future, the future Jesus has prepared before us. For a moment, Moses and Elijah appear talking with Jesus. Luke explains they were discussing the coming death on the cross in Jerusalem. Without the redemptive death of Jesus, the whole plan would fail. With the fellowship of the three, he was strengthened in spirit. All three must be rejoicing as the victory was so close. Satan was going to be defeated, and what was lost in Adam was soon going to be restored in Jesus. Sin and death were going to lose their strength an occasion for Moses and Elijah to rejoice together with Jesus, to see the glorious future, to be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.